Utah Jazz trying to close out the Denver Nuggets. Man, did they continue to shoot that thing, Shaq? They sure did. 56% in the first half. 63-54 is the Utah lead as they lead the series 3-1 and lead here in Game 5. Welcome, everybody. American Express Halftime Report, Ernie Johnson. Charles Barkley way down there. The Jet, Diesel, American Express teammates coming your way. And it's... Um, on the Utah side, <laughs> oh, actually on the Denver side, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Nico with his 23, <laughs> and uh, the rest of the starters for Denver with 15. One, two, three, Cancun. Um, and normally, uh, what we do is, you know, the team that's ahead. Usually, we do their their pictures first. But I'm just gonna take the game chronologically. So Denver comes into this game, Shaq, uh, needing a win to stay alive, and the Joker comes out and does not miss. Yes, he. Uh... He came out hot. I just asked the guys where they rank him at center and he seems to be unanimous. Number one, number two, but look, when he plays like this, he's unstoppable. Right here, this is what you like to see is a big man. Feet work right there. Great move against the top blocker. And right here, he has this ability. And you know what? If you're shooting him and you make him, keep shooting. If you're shooting, you miss, do something else. Right here, he puts it, splits the double team. And look the floater right there, Ernie. And look, check this player right here. A lot of big guys can't do this. So I'm going to say he's the second best center. Behind? I still got to go with my guy that's more talented than me, Mr. Joel. More talented than you? Yes. Yeah, we've had that discussion here several times. Um, Joel's good. Joel's really good. He's not more talented. Joker, eight for eight, including five for five from deep in the first quarter for 21, has 23 at the half. But Utah just keeps on coming at you. Man, their offense is clicking, Jet. Coming at you is what we're talking about. The ability to... Come on, oh, oh, if you I had, saw, hey, if you I had saw, waited. Yeah, you I saw. saw. Kenny, you got to wait, I, I, man. He I was about wait. to turn bolt. Slowly. Wait. He I was, turned as slow as I could. It's not like you're not going to catch him. I, I turned as slow as I could. I couldn't wait anymore, man. It's like waiting on a turtle. You know, but <laughs> they come out of his shell. But anyway, the one thing about Donovan Mitchell, what makes him great, everyone says he's going to hit those threes and... But he just, as I already said, keeps coming at you. And his ability to come at you, so when you get the ball and freeze it, most guys would have taken that three. But he says, no, I, if I have a choice between a layup or a three, I always take the layup. But then what that does is that sucks the defense in, gives Jordan clocks, and even on a bad pass, a lot of time to knock the shot down. So you have to honor him in the paint. The second part is again here, freeze it again. When instead of once he passes the ball, let it go again. Once he passes the ball, he just doesn't rely on the three-point shot. So freeze it here. Most guys would say, coming off this screen with Gobert, I should be open because Joker's in that drop position. But he says, no, I'm going to put pressure on the defense. Get in here. I'm big enough. I'm strong enough to finish over defenders and get the N1. Donovan Mitchell comes at you. You can't score 50 points just shooting jump shots. You have to be able to get to the rim, as Donovan mentioned. He's got 13 and a half. Jordan Clarkson off the bench has got 14. Chuck? Well, Jordan Clarkson and Mike uh, Conley. Conley look like Michael Jordan and, you know, Reggie Miller out there. Denver don't play any defense, but what disappoints me, they're not even competing. You don't think they're competing? No, I don't think they're competing. Okay. Because when you're down 3-1, like you play with you, you you play with great energy. You play. I don't see zero desperation. Okay. I see zero desperation. I've been down with with a series. Even when you're down two zip and you go back home, that game three, you all over the place. You're diving and everything. They're just going through the motion. Now the Joker played well, but the rest of those guys, you know, when your coach has to ask you for energy, that makes me mad. Okay. I mean, you get you you a professional. No, you get paid. Sixty-three to fifty-four, Jazz. They're twenty-four minutes away from advancing. Uh, Kenny the Jet Smith running to the video wall. <laughs> <laughs> keep that up there, Ernie. Just, just keep it till we go to commercial. That is awesome. Kenny Super. Until we go to commercial. Basu Kokarni. Underdog, put that on the t shirt. Basu Kokarni. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, we've, we've lost Shaq. We've lost him. <laughs> I got him.
You're watching the American Express Halftime Report. Ooh, our nightcap tonight is tasty. Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks tied up 2-2 with Kawhi and the Clippers. We'll bring that to you after Utah and Denver. So, who shot the three better? There's Jokic at the end of the quarter. Or was it Shaq? Oh, me. For his only career three. Mine. Yeah. You called glass on that? No, I told uh, B. Hill to run a play for me. He didn't, so I just intercepted the ball, and then I looked back at him. See that? You see that look? <laughs> see that look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is there is absolutely nothing in the world as good as laughter. There is absolutely nothing better. Feels great to laugh. Anyway. Especially when you put that picture up there. Hey, you, you got six seconds left. Put it up again. Come on, let's see it. <laughs> Let me see that dog booty again. <laughs> the dog hey, booty, easy, easy. Hold your breath. <laughs> the dog's booty. Skinny suit pants.